Well, I think it's safe to say that every angler, no matter the experience level, can be frustrated with backlashes. So today we're going to go over in detail how to set up a bait caster and their braking system to help your day on the water be backlash free. Backlashes are so frustrating and I find out of all the retail shows I've worked all over the country, it's the number one reason that anglers don't necessarily want to get into casting reels or bait casting reels because they just don't want to deal with the backlashes. Well, a lot of that has to do with the setup and I'm not going to say you're going to eliminate backlashes 100%, but I think you can make them just about a thing of the past. So let's jump right into how I set up a bait cast reel and then you can adjust it for your own personal taste from there. The first thing that I want to talk about is that most bait casters today that anglers are using have what we call dual braking systems. Now I know when you look at the specs on a reel it's just all this industry jargon and, and sometimes it can be pretty confusing. But what a dual braking system means is that the reel has two types of braking systems. It's going to have a centrifugal brake and a magnetic brake. So let's start right there with what those are. The centrifugal braking system is usually adjusted from the inside. You have to remove a side plate to get to it. The magnetic adjustment is going to be on the outside or the external portion of the reel. To access the centrifugal brake, most reels have got a pretty obvious plate switch here on the side. So you can go ahead and take this plate off by pushing that switch down and then take off the side plate. Okay, here you can see the magnetic adjustments there on the side plate and here you can take a look at the centrifugal braking system. Now every brand has got their own look to the centrifugal braking system but just real easy quick um, understanding of it is when you have the little pins or sometimes they look like little plastic top hats when they are pushed all the way in to the center of the spool that means the centrifugal brakes are off. When you have them pushed out towards the outside diameter, the outside edge of the spool, then that means that it is on. This particular one has got four centrifugal brakes. Sometimes you will see six in there. Like I said, each manufacturer is a little bit different. Now for your centrifugal braking system, it's important to know that it is what I consider the major adjustment system. It's where you make the largest adjustments is with the centrifugal brake and the small minor adjustments or fine tweaking your braking system will be on the magnetic brake. For a good starting point, I like to make sure that my centrifugal brake is what I call halfway on or halfway off. So in other words, on this system that has four pins, I'm gonna make sure that two of them are all the way to the center or off, and two of them are towards the outside or on. That is just a really, really good starting point. And as you adjust your centrifugal pins, make sure that you do opposites, okay? You don't necessarily wanna do them right next to each other. You want to do them in pairs in opposites and you will have the most success with it. Now, if you want all of your pins off where that centrifugal brake is completely free, I'm gonna tell you this thing is going to cast a mile but just make sure you've got your thumb on that spool ready to help slow down the lure as it gets to the end of the cast. That's why I recommend going with halfway, half on, half off on the centrifugal brake. And then you can go ahead and put your side plate back on. Make sure it snaps down tight and then put the switch back, okay? So I've got my centrifugal brake where I want it. Now let's talk about how I'm going to set this up for the very, very first time. So we just got the internal centrifugal brake set. What I'm going to do next is take my magnetic braking system and turn it so it is all the way off. Or on this particular model, it has a mark here that says free. So I want to turn it all the way off. I have a lure tied on here. Got a soft jerk bait. 
sitting here. I'm going to go ahead and throw that over the side. <coughs> and then you need to locate your spool tension knob. On most reels, that's going to be right here next to the drag system. Here's your spool tension knob, and I want to turn that pretty much off. Not so loose that it's going to come off the reel, but really make it loose. And now I have my lure up here, and I'm going to depress the thumb button and let it free fall. My goal is for this lure to fall slow and steady, and then when it hits the surface of the water, that the line, the spool here, just kind of stops. It doesn't over spool or have like a little mini backlash in there. That's going to be my starting point. So I'm going to hit that, watch my lure, and keep tightening until it's a nice steady fall. I don't want to go so tight that the lure won't fall. Just a nice steady drop. Okay, and that's a good, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but that's a good starting place. Now that I have the spool tension set, I'm gonna go back to my magnetic brake and put it halfway. Okay, what is about 50%. Now, I have got this set at what I consider an excellent starting point. I can go ahead and make a cast and then make fine-tuned adjustments from there. On my magnetic brake, I can go ahead and loosen it up a little bit more, tighten it up a little bit more. I could go ahead and loosen the spool tension a little bit, tighten the spool tension. But I know that I'm at a really good starting point where I shouldn't have just this horrible bird's nest that comes out of the bait caster. Now one thing that is important to remember, when you retie lures or you put a new lure on, if you have a drastic weight change, let's say you're going from a quarter ounce jig to a half ounce jig, quarter ounce spinnerbait to a half ounce spinnerbait, you're going to want to go through that process again of turning the magnetic brake off and then adjust your spool tension as you watch that lure drop and make sure you've got it a nice steady even drop and then go ahead and put your magnetic brake at the halfway point and then once again fine-tune your adjustments. I feel that if you go ahead and go through this process, you are going to have a lot of luck on the water. These bait cast reels today compared to 15, 20 years ago, the braking systems are so good. They are so responsive. Hey, if you would like to watch a video, speaking of reels, and I got braided line on here, if you would like to watch a video on what I think is my personal favorite braid to lead or not the red phillips knot go ahead and watch this one right here i think that you'll find that this knot is very fast to die strong and it just slides through the micro guides so easily and hey don't forget to go out and encourage someone today you never know how you might just change their life for the bass fishing life i'm your host steve rogers